Hi, this is James Lee. Welcome to the module Introduction to Networking. Remember, if you have questions, use that question and comment box. And let's talk about networking. So the topics we'll discuss in this module are starting and stopping the network. It's a very common thing to do <clears throat> as an administrator to, to stop and start the network. So we'll talk about how to do that. <clears throat> we'll also manage services. We'll talk about XINETD. This is the, uh, the, the process that manages network connections to our machine. And we'll demonstrate all the commands that we are going to talk about in this module. So let's get going with the demo right now. The first thing we're going to do is talk about how to start and stop or restart our network. So the first thing I need to do is to have a shell to work with. So the way to create a shell or to launch a shell in Red Hat Linux, there's two, two ways really. We, I can go to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. Click that and it'll launch a shell. Or just right here, hover in the desktop, right click and go to Open Terminal. Now in order to do this work, I should be root. So I'm going to switch over to root. Do an SU minus, type the root password, and there I am as root. And I know I'm root because of the pound sign prompt. We'll talk about how we might start and stop the network. But the first thing we'll notice, if I do an if config, this shows me that I have two network interfaces up and running, ETH0 and LO. I can stop my network. There's a couple ways to stop. I can say Etsy init.d network space stop and when I do that and I type if config notice there's no output because I have no network and then if I want to start I would say etsy init.d network start and this will go through the steps of restarting my network and if I do an if config I see my networks back up and running Another option instead of using etsy init.d network is to use service net space network space stop and then start. So the service is a, an application which is an option for using slash init, etsy slash init.d slash program name. I can also use the service network to restart. And that will stop it and then start it. Now one of the things we'll want to do is to have our services start on boot. You probably know that there's a, a special process. You'll probably know there's a special process called init. And init begins all the other processes. So what I can do is I can tell init to start a particular process manipulating that with the check config program. So let's have a look here. I'll do a chk config and I'm going to list sshd. And this basically says that sshd is the is uh, configured to turn itself on on, on boot when we're, we're in run level 2, run level 3, run level 4, or run level 5. So if I'm in run level 2, 3, 4, 5, then sshd will start on boot. And if I'm logging in with the graphic interface, that's run level 5. I can see when I, whether I'm, uh, it's turned on or off by looking in the directories etsy rc question mark dot d slash star ssh star. And we can see here that in run level 0, it's right here, K means we're going to kill the process so it's not started. Run level 1 is not started. Run level 2 has an S, that means it is started. Run level 3 started. 4 started. 5 started. 6 is killed so it's not started. If I want, I can turn, the, turn off the automatic boot up of SSHD on restart by doing a ch check config SSHD off. Now when I look at the contents of those directories, I see all of them are Ks, which means they're all kills. If I do a list, we see they're all off. 
Now obviously I want SSHD to start on boot, so I'm going to do an SSH, check config SSHD on. Now I'll do a list, sure enough, it's back on. All right, let's take a minute and talk about XINETD. XINETD is a server that runs, and its job is to launch other processes, other daemons, like uh, the SSH daemon or Telnet daemon and so on. So XINETD runs and listens at all the ports it's configured to listen at. When it receives a connection at the port, it starts the proper daemon. So the configuration for xinetd is in etsy xinetd.conf. And we can see there's uh, some defaults. And the most important line is this very last line, which says include dir etsy xinetd.d. So in that directory are the configuration for all of the daemons that xinetd's job is to start. So let's go into that directory and look. So I'll cd into etsy xinetd.d. Do an ls, and you see there's a bunch of uh, files here, including uh, rsync and klogin and so on. So these are all the daemons that xinetd's job is to manage. So let's look at one. Let's look at rsync. So you'll notice what the rsync has is a bunch of uh, options here. We see disable equals yes. That means the rsync is turned off. If I want xinetd to manage rsync, I would change that to a no. No, don't disable it. Socket type is stream. The user is root. And this tells me what is the daemon that will be running when rsync starts up. It's user bin rsync. It's running with these server arguments. And if I log on failure, it's going to log the user ID. So if I want xinetd to manage rsync, I would change disable to no. All right. If you have any questions, please use that question and comment box. And thanks for joining us for this module.